phpMyAdmin is one of the most famous and powerful graphical user interfaces to manage MySQL databases. In this video, we'll be installing and configuring phpMyAdmin on a web server that previously we installed a LAMP stack on it. If you don't have LAMP stack, meaning Linux, Apache, MySQL, PHP server ready, or if you're interested to find out how we can install a LAMP stack on a Linux server, refer to that video. Otherwise, let's go ahead and install phpMyAdmin. The first step of installing phpMyAdmin, like any other installation, is updating the package manager. I'm using apt, so I will be updating this after connecting to the server via SSH. So I type sudo apt update to update the package manager. And now we are good to go and install the package. The next step will be installing phpMyAdmin package itself. To do that, we type sudo apt install phpMyAdmin. Press enter, enter, and here we choose Apache because I have Apache installed. I press the space button to make it a start, and then press tab to go to OK, and enter. I want to configure with dbconfig, so I choose yes. And here I provide a password for my phpMyAdmin installation. Press tab to go OK. Hit enter. And here I retype the password for phpMyAdmin. Again, go to OK by pressing tab and OK. And phpMyAdmin is installed this easy. The next step is enabling the phpMyAdmin configuration in our Apache settings. To do that, we open the, the Apache config file by sudo nano etc. Apache2 and apache2.conf. Press enter. Go to the end of the document. And at this line, include etc php my admin apache.conf. This is a file that php my admin has included, and it's for configuring the, the Apache with php my admin. So we add this line and then control X, press Y. And that's it. Enter and done. Now it's time to restart the Apache to for the configuration to take place. So we type sudo systemctl restart Apache2. Now phpMyAdmin is configured in our Apache settings. Now it's time to test the phpMyAdmin installation by calling its address via a web browser. So open a web browser and type the server address plus slash phpMyAdmin and hit enter. And as you see, phpMyAdmin is loading. It means that the installation has been successful. Now after confirming the installation, it's time to secure it. To do that, we need to create an htaccess file by typing sudo nano and we'll create a file in usr share php my admin and we'll call it dot htaccess. Don't forget to put in a period before the htaccess name and press enter and we will insert this code inside this file. After that, control X, press Y to yes, and enter. 
and the file will be saved. Now let's create a password file to store the credentials by typing sudo htpass wd and dash c and we will be storing it in etc php my admin as dot htpass wd and we give it a username for php my admin php my admin we press enter give it a password we type the password and that's it now the user pma is created with the password that we just gave it now we need to allow ht access to be used by the system and we can do it by typing sudo nano atc php my admin and apache.conf we need to add a line to this file after this tag after the php my admin tag and it's allo override and all it's case sensitive so please make sure that everything is like this so control x again y enter and save it now that we have php my admin installed and secured the last part is resorting apache for all the settings and configurations to take place and as you know it's as simple as typing sudo system serial resort apache2 by following these steps we can install and secure php my admin and make it ready to work now let's go to browser and test everything again i open a browser and call the php my admin address and when i enter i'm asked for the ht password that i gave on the ht access and ht password file so i type pma and give it a password and now i can go to php my admin login page and here i give it the root user of mysql and the password for the mysql installation and press enter and i can log in this way and this was the whole process of installing and securing php my admin on a server that has lamp stack ready again if you're interested in finding out about installing lamp stack on a linux server refer to that video otherwise stay tuned for more linux tutorials on this playlist thanks for watching and take care